Hello there, so today I want to go through the IGCSE 0580 maths changes occurring in 2024 and 2025. So lots of information in this video. Again, please do share this with anyone that's doing exams in those two years. So first of all, I want to go through the changes that are happening from 2025 to 2027. So if you're doing the actual exam in 2025, whether that's March or June or November, then this is the information for you. First of all, uh, the syllabus has been reviewed and revised for this first examination in 2025. So they've taken information from 2020 to 2024 and made quite a few significant changes to the course. Um, they've made updates to the learning outcomes, the examples, and there's been some content clarification. OK, what do they actually want you to learn in this specific topic? First of all, the core subject content changes. So if you're doing that core paper, there are no major new topics added to the core subject content. However, there have been some removal of certain subtopics from core. So for example, you will not be expected to add and subtract vectors if you are doing core. However, they have added a few new subtopics. So for example, inequalities has now been added to core and you're expected to know certain square numbers, cube numbers and roots. So for example, they would expect you to know what 13 squared is or they'd expect you to know what six cubed is. So that's been added to the core content. Um, also, they really want to put a bit of an emphasis on data collection. So when you're doing the data handling section of the core content, they do want you to actually explore how to collect data and how to use it in a real life situation, trying to update the course. Now extended, there are actually some more major changes compared to core. So the first thing to highlight is the removal of some of the topics from extended. So no more proper subsets. So knowing the difference between the proper and improper subset. Linear programming has been removed. So that's gone completely. I just did a video on that recently, but that has been removed for 2025. And box and whisker plots or box plots or box and whisker diagrams, a few different names for the same thing. That has also been removed as well. And that's always been a fairly big topic that comes up quite often on the extended course. However, they have added some new topics to give space then to these new topics coming in. Uh, CERT is probably the biggest one that's been coming in. Um, if you've seen my one note that I've gone through on 0580, you've seen I've added that section with 2025 in brackets. Exponential graphs, so what they look like, sketching, working with asymptotes, and that fits in very nicely then with domain and range. That can be a very tricky topic for IGCSE students. So something I would definitely start thinking about if you're doing the exams in 2025. Um, there has been some clarification within the topics advised in the syllabus, but I've highlighted the key things that you need to know. Um, changes to the actual assessment, and that's again been a big change now for 2025. And the biggest thing, and you've probably heard about it already, there is now a non-calculator paper. There is a non-calculator assessment at each tier, so both at core and extended. Um, they've rebalanced the papers, which I think is good feedback that Cambridge have taken. Uh, before we had an hour and a half paper and a two and a half hour paper. Now we're getting a much more balanced paper with non-calculator and calculator content. I'll go through that detail in a moment. Um, the changes are the duration, so how long the test is, the amount of marks and the weighting of each of the papers. That's both the paper one, paper two and paper three and paper four. And there's some considerations they've added for calculator use for papers three and four. Now, um, let's get into the detail of the specific assessment changes for core, first of all. So paper one. The core is now a non-calculator paper. Calculators, obviously, not allowed. The uh, number of marks on the paper one core is now up to 80. Uh, the paper is now one hour and 30 minutes, and the weighting of that paper is 50%. So there's a 50% weighting between the paper one and paper three. So it's an equal amount of marks for your non-calculator, equal amount of marks for your calculator. They've done exactly the same with paper three. So they've reduced the amount of marks of paper three, increased for paper one. So they have exactly the same weighting. They're both out of 80 marks. Uh, note calculators, of course, are still allowed for paper three. 
extended has changed in a very similar way as well. So paper two now is a non-calculated paper. Uh, number of marks on paper two is now increased slightly up to 100 marks. And that's now a two hour paper, rather than one hour and 30 minutes before. The weighting of that paper is now 50%. So now non-calculated is a really significant part of the course. Uh, paper four extended has now decreased down to 100. That's also a two hour paper. And that weighting has changed to 50%. I think that's a, a really positive change by Cambridge to make the papers equally weighted and also uh, check those non-calculator skills as well. Calculators, of course, are still allowed in paper four. Now, if you're doing the exams in 2024, and this is one of the reasons I've made this video to avoid that confusion if you're doing the exam in 2025 or 2024, the key thing, and this comes directly from Cambridge, there are no significant changes which affect teaching. What does that mean in practice? Well, exactly the same topics and exactly the same format as the 2023 papers will be in 2024. And that's whether you're doing the paper in March, in June or November. If you're doing any of those papers, it's exactly the same format, exactly the same style. Both papers are calculator as in 2023. So please do use a 2023 paper as your basis for revising then, of course, for 2024. And if you want to catch up with all things IGCSE Maths and those top 10 topics that are really, really important to you, then check out the video right in front of you.